welcome to an Oath of the Gatewatch pre-release draft. We have uh, a few interesting things opened up here. Dranus Chosen is the rare, which is quite good in the allies, black-white based allies decks. Not too bad. Uh, Devour and Flame is quite a good removal spell, just 5 damage to a creature. You have to bounce a land, but that's usually not going to be a problem. After that, uh, the Relief Captain is really not going to be picked over Odranus Chosen, they both got in the same deck and Chosen is just better. I've seen more of Kozlek do some good work and Jawar Isle Avenger also quite a good uh, good card. I think the pick is the Devourer, just good removal. Warden of Geometry is a nice keeping us open, that sort of thing. But we'll grab ourselves a Devourer in Flames and see what we get after that. Disconnected. Just get myself out of team speak so that I don't annoy anyone who happens to join in. Okay, person next to us is taking their time. Corrupted Crossroads is the uh, any colour for Devoid. Which is probably not the sort of land we want. Cliffhaven Vampire is pretty cool. Uh, it does some good work in the uh, Black White Allies deck. It's a 2-4 flyer. I don't know if that is the way to go. I like picking up these dual lands just to stay open, allowing you to splash, do that sort of thing. Gravity Negator, also decent. There's a couple of good cards in here. Nothing really outstanding, but a few things that are decent. I'd like to pick up the Warden, it's just a good little ramp card as well as attached to a 2-3 body with the Vigilance. That's a tough one, tough pick. I think I just want to stay open and take the Warden and see where that leads us. That's going to go in pretty much any deck anyway, so I'll take that one. don't really like Chitness Cloak, I think it's just too expensive to really get the job done. Reckless Bushwhacker is fine for Surge, but otherwise not great. Just a 3 mana 2 on with haste is pretty uninspiring. Press into service is a fairly good threat. Support 2 is a nice little bump, but probably not going to pick that one up here. I'm looking more down the end to these flyers, either Jawahal Avenger or the Kindy Aeronaut. 3-3 three, three flyers is just a great beater. Usually going to do a lot of good work for you. The Kindy Aeronaut is also quite good to hold early. Just keeps control of the game. And I think it's going to be the Avenger here. Blue Red's a nice colour combination, it's got some good synergies. Alright, here we've got a couple of uh, cards. This cavalry looks really cool, it's 6 6 for 7. Support all of your characters, really. Everyone you've got in play. But it's not often going to be a support 6, maybe 2 or 3. I've found it hard to get support 3 to work on some things to get the full value. Cyclone Sire, I think, is the pick here. This one is a 3 4 flyer for 5. And it awakens 3 if it were to die. Outside of that, this guy's pretty good. He's a uh, rather large trampling guy. Another aeronaut, that sort of stuff. But, uh, and also the Golden Free Runner. Good pick down that end. But I'm going to take the flyer. Containment Membrane has been good in general. I think it does a good job. Nissa's Judgment is also a good one. It's um, a good uh, one way fight card. I like Hedron Crawlers in general. Yeah, cast a spider in general is fairly good. This deck is starting to shape up to be a fairly big mana deck with these fives, so I'm leaning like the Hedron Corridor seems like a good line. But this judgment is such a powerful effect, I think I can't pass that at an uncommon. There'll be other opportunities to pick up things like Hedron Crawler. So I'm take that one. Ah, the Hedron Alignment. 
probably going to be the last pick after eight more cards are gone and I'm probably going to take the swamp over it um, it's just not a card you want to be playing but you never know if you last pick them a few times you can see getting them together Pyromancer's Assault pretty good I think it's Cultivator Drone, drone or Gravity Negator and uh, I'm going to take the, the drone 2-3-3 three, three is fine does everything you need these negators are coming around uh, also comparative analysis and the Eldrazi Aggressor is a fairly solid card as well I want to take the I think I want to take the analysis it's a tough pick between the two I've seen a few of the negators so people are obviously not too worried about picking them up and that colorless ability is a little bit annoying so I'm going to take the analysis at this point two four drops Science Summon is pretty good in green. We've only got the one red card, so we can move over into green here. Batlock Pump is fine. Nothing else here particularly interesting, so let's take the Summoner. We've fallen a little bit behind, so should probably catch up. Lead by example is an unreasonable trick. And Canopy Gorger is just a good big guy. I don't love anything else here. I'm going to take the Gorger. Unknown Shores is one of the better colourless cards, and we've already got one. Uh, I know we don't actually have any reason to use colours yet, but it's good to have just in case. So we can take an Unknown Shores. Here, a bit torn. I don't mind pressing to service. McKinney Aeronaut's pretty late, last five, and Vines of the Recluse is a cool little trick. I'm thinking press into service. Just because you don't get that effect as easily in other places. I don't want to have to play around Brute Strength, so we'll take that one. Entangler is a fine enough to drop. Not taking Pyromancer's Assault. That means someone's picked up a land out of that pack. Didn't want Brute Strength or Pyromancer's Assault, just wanted the full art land. Can't say I blame them. Alright, so we caught up, and Bailoth the Pup. It is decent. 3, 1, for 2 mana seems okay. So far, not a little bad uh, collection of cards here. We haven't been offered too much out of this pack. Sifter of Skulls. Not horrible. 4 3 for 4. Gives you Eldrazi whenever something of yours dies. It's possible I just take it because there's not a lot else that I'm interested in. Seer's Lantern's okay, Cinder Hellion's okay, but I already have a bunch of 5 drops anyway. Uh, more of Kozilek is okay. There's nothing really I want in blue or green. So, I'll take it as an option. We might end up playing like Dimensional Infiltrator. So, just a flash flying 2 1. There's also a Hedron Crawler down here. I do like these early evasive creatures, so I think I'll take the Infiltrator. It enables processing down the line as well, but mostly just because it's a flash 2-1. That flies, so you'll take that. already have a comparative analysis and I doubt that I'll play a second, so it puts me on vines or Gravity Negator if we stick on this green and blue line. I'm not super married to the green. I could go, go over to something like Tarsnare and start looking at black. But there is just the Gravity Negator here as a 2-3 flyer. And it seems like a waste to pick up black on the speculative when I have a clear blue pick. 
So I'm going to take the negator. Embodiment of Inside is actually quite a good card. Uh, it makes a 3-3 Vigilant land creature for the turn. Not a lot else to be picked up. These Isolation Zones going really late. This is the second one we've seen in this pack. Don't mind a Pathfinder or a Loam Lava or a Netcaster Spider. But the fact that these are all still in the pack coming in the opposite direction is a good sign. So let's take that. Deep Fathom Skulker. Wow. I'm surprised to see that. Uh, blue and green cards all around here. We're getting some... A lot of the higher ups. And not as much of the early stuff which I'd like. A few more things like Scion Summoner or... Or something like that would be good. But uh, this guy, 4-4 four, four for 6, and you just draw a card anytime you hit them. Seems pretty good to me. Alright, again, just blue and green really open. I like Cyan Summoner, Cultivate Drone, and Blinding Drone. Blinding Drone has a couple of sources so far. Not a heap, but a couple. And we can pick up a couple more. Whether this cultivated drone or the science, I'm going to come back. It's not a thing. I think I want to see one of these two come back. So I think I'll leave both blue cards in the pack and take the science summoner. Blinding drone, really not very good if you can't get the sources for it, and I don't feel like I have enough yet. So I'm going to take the summoner. And another one. I don't think you can have too many Scion Summoners. So let's keep taking them. Gravity Negator is pretty good. I don't like obtrusive interference whatsoever. So we'll just take that one. Alright, so this is our pack on the wheel. I don't see Elemental Uprising as being worth taking here. It's between Negate or Seer's Lantern. I probably take the Seer's Lantern on the expectation that having Colorless is good. I've got two Gravity Negators that can use the ability. And Ramp is good for me. Nothing I really like here. Another Canopy Gorger as a 6 drop isn't particularly inspiring. 445 for Trample. I don't have any wastes and I'm unlikely to pick one up. I don't think I need another 5 drop, so it's Gorger or Slip through space. Let's take the Slip. I haven't got one and I might want one. Vines of the Recluse is a cool trick. Titanus Cloak is good, but just a fraction too expensive, I think. And Vines is just such a neat trick that uh, it's hard to pass that one. So take it. Uh, Lone Lava is good. Helps with the splash if we end up running the Devour, which it seems like we will. I don't think I'm going to be playing either of these cards, but more likely to play an Interference, I guess. Okay, now having a look down here, I don't think the Entangler is going to be. Pretty happy with where we're at. Got a lot of good stuff going on. Just need something to really close out the games. Okay, Brutal Expulsion is unlikely to make the cut. It's, it's a good card, generally fine, but just not super interesting. Don't mind a Hedron Archive. It does good work. It probably replaces Seer's Lantern. I can see a Reclaimer getting in. Though we haven't really got that many instants and sorceries that we want to bring back. 
not a light out of this, I think it's just the Hedron Archive. Helps the gravity indicators do their thing. And it's just probably better than Sears Lantern. Okay, a couple of choices on this one. Tightening Coils is fine. Retreat, also quite good. And Blighted Cataract. I think I'm going to start off with the retreat and hope the cataract comes back and it's between those two. Could also look towards something like Eldrazi Devastator just as a big finisher. We do have a reasonable amount of ramp. Having something that just is bigger than everything else is good. I'll take the retreat. The main things to, that have caught my eye so far are something like a Ruin Processor, again for a similar reason. It's a big guy that uh, sometimes will gain me some life. I have a few ways to get cards into Exile, primarily a Dimension Infiltrator. There's a Merc Strider, which again is not too bad, and the Skyline Cascade, just as the, the Blue Land. It is a fairly low opportunity cost to play that one. I'm going to take the processor here. As having something that's just the biggest thing feels like the best line to go with. Right. So we have Incubator Drone and Deathless Behemoth. I do have a few ways to make Eldrassi Scions with three Simoners. It's conceivable that I can use that, particularly if I get something like Incubator Drone. But it is 6-6 six, six Vigilance, which isn't that good. I mean, compared to one more mana, I have a 7-8. The, the size of that is significant. I think we take the Incubator Drone here. Just as more ramp and more ways to get big things into play. Very little in this pack for us. Processor Assault is not likely to do what we need it to do. I won't play Royal Mage's Trink. And Territorial Bayloth is just kind of boring. Given that, what do I not want to play against? It's probably something like Malachite Predator. So we'll just cut that one out to the side. Uh, spell Shrivel is pretty powerful. I do like a Spell Shrivel. Also Fertile Thicket. It's just one of those things you can use if you need that extra land. You can keep a two land hand with Fertile Thicket and know that you're going to hit that next land. Snapping Gnarly isn't a bad two drop either. I'm not hurting for two drops. I think three, two drops and plenty. Three drops is fine. So I think I just take the Thicket here and uh, be happy with that. The other option is Reclaiming Guidance as a sideboard card. Particularly given the number of Oblivion zones we've seen, it's possibly better that I take that. So on second consideration, I'm actually going to take mines to try and hedge against those. Flying creatures could be a problem, so having a plummet in the sideboard is good. Horribly awry, also a very neat card. I think Horribly Awry hits about as many of the flyers as I'm worried about that Plummet does. Plummet's going to hit a bomb, but Horribly is going to do a lot of work as well. I think Plummet's the better sideboard card, so I'll take that one. At this point I'm just taking what is the best card in the pack. And at this point it's either Sentinel or Stone Fury. You will cut the Ghostly Sentinel. Flies could become a problem. A little Expulsion on the wheel, not bad. Oracle of Dust as well. Let's take the Expulsion and see if we can run for it. That's, this is actually a pick. I would play any of these first four cards. Natural Connections if I want to work on this Splash, which I could be. Devastator if I want an alternate Rune process.
let's take Devastator. Sylvan Scrying is good. We've got a natural connection anyway. Trick in the side. So Fertile Thicket comes in as well. Excellent. Right. Apologies, I do get a little bit bogged down. So that was slightly slower than it should have been, but uh, we got there in the end. Okay. Having a look at what we ended up with. I'm not super keen on our two drops. Uh, Bail of is just fine. Dimensional Infra Trailer is good. And Mom Lava is good. Threes are very nice. I think that's going to do us a lot of work. Um, the weakest is probably Cultivator Drone. I only have the Nicators as far as things that are going to really use that mana. I have a couple of other colorless spells that the Cultivated Drone can cast. Let's move this out for now. That's probably the weakest one, as far as ramping. I mean, both the, summon the summoners here are doing good works as far as ramping me up to what I need anyway. After that, so we've got the Red Splash, Devouring Flames, and Brutal Expulsion as well as a natural connection what I was trying to do back here, natural connection to help fix I can play a mountain and that gives me Lone Lava, natural connection, unknown shores is three different ways, I might have to play two mountains in order to get that through I need to make probably two cuts out of this I think the Brutal Expulsion isn't strong enough to warrant the splash. I do like the Devouring Flames, and I will play red for it. And I might cut one of the Gravity Negators. It's a 2 3 fly for 4. Sometimes I'll get to jump something. I think that's probably the weakest one here. I'm pretty happy with everything else here. Uh, Baelor's Pup is brilliant. I don't have a lot of ways to put counters on other than Retreat. And this is Judgment. But even so, it's a fine 2 drop as a 3-1. I mean, we've played that in white forever. Okay, so we're going to have the Unknown Shores, the Fertile Thicket, and then we're going to add some basics. Uh, we do have a lot of green, but I don't think I need 10 green sources. So I'm going to cut one of those and go up to a second mountain. I do want to be able to cast a Baron Flames, and I don't think two mountains is too much of an opportunity cost. It's all single blue. So once I get one island, I don't have to worry about searching for multiples. And with Loam Lava and Natural Connections, that allows me to get the blue when I really need it. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's run those in and submit the deck. Alright. So there we go. Good looking deck here. Just going to grab a snip of that. Little trick that I learned using the snipping tool you can grab a little GIF of your deck. So now, whenever I need to refer to it during a match, I just bring this up. I can check out what I've got, what I need. Okay. Well, that's the draft. I will see you guys in round one.